How's everybody doing? It is July 19th of 2020. We are going to go ahead and give a test to this Jedi F1 Jalapeno. Um, a little bit about this plant. It is uh, one of the largest size jalapenos that there are. Um, the fruits are supposed to be able to get four to four and a half inches long and um, range on the medium to mild heat generally. We're terrified of this pepper. We're as terrified of a jalapeno pepper as we are a ghost pepper just because of the thunder heat, the way it roasts us. I don't know what it is. We've had regular mild jalapenos on a hamburger before that have really, really put us through <laughs> the thunder. But uh, we plan on slicing these up, but it's a Jedi jalapeno. Um, a jalapeno on a Scoville from mild to hot generally is 3,000 Scoville units to 15,000 Scoville units. This one usually sits at around the three to 5,000 range. So it would be around um, mild to medium. But as, you, as a lot of people that have grown peppers know, it don't really necessarily matter. Um, you can take a banana pepper and it can just be the right fertilization, um, its location next to other peppers, your weather conditions, your amount of sunlight it gets, transplanting it. There's about 15 different things that can really up or lower the Scoville or the heat range on peppers. So this is the Jedi Jalapeno. We are big fans of the Jalapeno. It may not seem like it with the way we're always trying to grow different unique things, but we love having Jalapenos in our yard. We love seeing other people grow them. This is a hybrid. So the plants are supposed to be super disease resistant. They get two to four feet tall, I believe. And we have this one growing in a five gallon bucket by itself. And it's also supposed to be what's called a continuous producer. So we really wanted to get these pods off a little bit earlier than we have this time, but we're gonna take these inside. It's the Jedi F1 Jalapeno, and we are going to give one of them a taste test, then dice the rest up and pickle them. So love you guys and we'll catch you in just a second. By 19th, 2020, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna give this to, uh, pepper a try. Look at these right here. I would suggest this is a grow definitely just by the size of it. Um, jalapenos, they have a common flavor that a lot of people worldwide really know about and uh, that's what makes them a worthy grow in any yard. Um, they're good for pickling, they're good for salsas, um, the milder ones are people that are into spicy foods. Um, they're good for snacking. They're good for stuffing a lot of times. They just have so many different varieties of the regular jalapeno. This one right here may be a hybrid. The plants are super strong and pest resistant. They grow really, really well. When it comes to the jalapeno especially, I, I have no worries about the hybrid. There's so many different kinds of great jalapeno out there that we wouldn't have if you weren't um, kind of refining the whole thing but look how big these pods are. And this is a container grow and this is the first wave. If anybody uh, grows peppers and stuff, you usually get like some flowering, things like that. We'll cut, which one should we cut? The biggest one? It's up to you. It's been one of the longest. That one right there. Mm -hmm. We leave a couple pods out there on the vine um, in order to ripen for seeds and also to kind of get that first wave off, the second wave of peppers that'll show up uh, are really, really fast. So if you've got a bunch of nubs or deformed looking peppers or flowering starting and they're falling off and stuff like that, at the very beginning of your season, it's best to just get rid of those. Take those flowers off, take those wacky pods off and just kind of get rid of them and push for that second wave right away. And then you'll notice you get like a third wave and sometimes a fourth wave and even people that winter the plants over get, you know what I mean, get really, really good production the next year from peppers. So we usually get wonky ones the very, very start. We wanted these off quicker. It's a Jedi F1 jalapeno. Oh, it'd be super, super nice if this one didn't burn me, you guys. I'm going to come up top here, too. We're just gonna cut them into slices like this. And we got enough here to maybe fill a jar. I think we're gonna use carrots and possibly radish pods as filler in our pickling for these.
from what I understand, these ones specifically carry a lot of heat in the pith sometimes. So I'm going to cut that out. I might eat that individually if this pepper isn't very hot. We are not hot pepper people. We are not professionals. We are 100% amateurs. We just like to sit down with our friends and family. Anybody who's watching this, we just like to sit with you guys and uh, take a look at this unique fun that we're having in our yard with these different kinds of vegetables and such. It, it, I can tell that it's got that thunder heat that's going to linger for a little while. Almost no like quick, like fierce burn bite on it. I expected more of like a lightning strike right at the very, very beginning of heat because uh, it's still green. A lot of times the green of the pepper and stuff like that, you get that sharp bite but you don't get the linger this one i can sense the linger it is pretty mild especially if you take those out look how thick those walls are yeah definitely good stuffers for jalapeno poppers yeah like i mean tons and tons of seeds in here big time seed savers over here except for the one that i think just fell on the kitchen floor behind me. Yeah, you could really, really easily just find something thin and kind of core that whole thing out and then kind of stuff it. And a lot of them aren't coming out just long, they're coming out pretty wide and thick too. So good? Yeah, it's really good. Do you want to try it? It does have a little bit of a linger, but I haven't had a need any milk or orange juice. Mm. We use orange juice and milk to kind of draw the heat away and also to dumb it down. Mine still burns just a little bit. I can still feel the linger, but it's not too bad, huh? So I would, I would suggest if you're growing jalapenos and you want to try something a little bit different, but you don't want to lean away from not having a jalapeno in the yard, I would take a look into these and stuff. It is a hybrid. Um, They're good. I would say it is mild. It's mild for a jalapeno. Yeah. Like I've had some pungent, had some a lot, lot of time, jalapenos have what a, a, I call a pungent heat. It's very hot. Or a musky mm -hmm. kind of like pungentness to it. And some of the other peppers are similar. I would say an ancho, those big ancho peppers that you can uh, cook and then scrape the green out of the inside to make green sauces and stuff with, but these peppers are really, really big too. They're not, and I'm sure that it says four to four and a half inches they can get. So the Jedi F1 jalapeno, what did you think about it, hon? I thought it was good. Um, I definitely think if you ate the seeds in the, um, the placenta with it, it would probably be hotter, but it was good. It was mild. I liked it. All right. So yeah, not a lot online about them. Um, a little bit, but a really good jalapeno type, and I'll come back just for a finish up in a second. Love you guys. So happy I didn't get burnt this time. So I am very impressed with this uh, this uh, version of the jalapeno. It's the Jedi jalapeno. Um, it is mild. It says uh, I think 2,500 Scoville to 5,000. I was kind of guessing that that was probably wrong. They were saying sometimes they can get much hotter, but uh, not very often on the wavering of the heat. So when we tried it, I would say that would be about right, three to five. It is that thunder heat. I still feel a little bit linger, even though it's a couple minutes later um, from it. So we rate it lightning and thunder. We're, uh, we're amateurs. We just like to sit down and try these things out and maybe inspire somebody else to give some of these unique different peppers and tomatoes and vegetables that we grow a try. This is UT and Angel. Um, 
I highly recommend on this one. Uh, we also tried the Buena Mulata, the Midwest Cross, and the Reza that are all considered hot peppers this year. And this one by far was the mildest of all of them. I could almost snack on this one if it wasn't for the thunder being so scary for uh, us. But we got them uh, diced up like this or sliced up like this. And we are going to pickle them with some onions, some garlic, some possibly some radish seed pods and also some carrots for sure but this is ut and angel i highly recommend on this jalapeno especially if you're not into heat um, mild if you if you take that core out that the seeds and the placenta or the inner core stuff there it it's not really that hot it's not bad at all but it can linger so if you're, you're not a heat fan i'm a shout out to bob and bob mill love you guys we'll catch you next time